When you're setting up a monitor, a gaming PC, a television, or even a projector, one of the most common questions people run into is this. Should you use HDMI or Display Port? On the surface, they look almost identical. Small, slim connectors with similar looking ports that both carry audio and video. But behind those metal shells are two very different technologies, each designed with specific priorities in mind. In this video, we're going to break down what HDMI and DisplayPort really are, how they work, what each one is best at, and most importantly, which one you should use for gaming, productivity, entertainment, and high-performance displays. As simple as the question sounds, the answer depends heavily on what you need, and HDMI versus DisplayPort is a debate that has evolved dramatically over the last decade. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with HDMI, or High Definition Multimedia Interface. HDMI was originally created for home entertainment, specifically to replace older analog connectors like composite or component cables. Its mission was clear, deliver high quality digital video and audio using a single cable that anyone could plug into a TV. And that focus on consumer electronics is why HDMI is absolutely everywhere today. TVs, gaming consoles, DVD players, soundbars, projectors, laptops, and even car infotainment systems. Over time, HDMI has improved through multiple versions. For example, HDMI 1.4 introduced 4K at 30 Hz. HDMI 2.0 improved that to 4K at 60 Hz, which became the standard for TVs and consoles. And HDMI 2.1, which is the newest major upgrade, bump things up to 4K at 120 Hz and even 8K, along with features like variable refresh rate and auto low latency mode. The bottom line, HDMI is universal. Virtually every display device supports it, and that's what makes it so convenient. If your goal is simple compatibility and ease of use, HDMI is almost always the safest choice. DisplayPort, on the other hand, was created for computers, not TVs. Developed by Visa, the same organization behind standards like Display HDR and Adaptive Sync, DisplayPort was specifically designed for high performance monitors, workstation graphics, and multi display setups. Right away, you'll notice one key difference DisplayPort almost always offers higher bandwidth than HDMI of the same generation. This makes it extremely capable for high refresh rates, high resolutions, and professional color-critical displays. DisplayPort 1.4, for example, can handle 4K at 120 Hz or even 8K using compression. And DisplayPort 2.1 takes things even further, offering massive bandwidth that supports 4K at 240 Hz, 8K at 85 Hz, and even multi-monitor setups through daisy chaining. Another thing that sets DisplayPort apart is MST, Multi-Stream Transport, which allows you to run multiple monitors from a single port. This is especially useful in productivity setups, creative studios, financial trading floors, and advanced gaming desks. So while HDMI dominates the living room, DisplayPort is the king of the desktop environment. Now let's compare the two in clearer terms. First, compatibility. HDMI wins this easily because it's included in practically every device on the market. If you walk into any home, you'll find HDMI on the TV, the media box, the gaming consoles, and even the older devices lying around. DisplayPort, in contrast, is mostly found on PCs, gaming monitors, and high-end graphics cards. Next. Let's talk bandwidth. Bandwidth determines how much data the cable can send, which directly affects resolution, refresh rate, 
and color depth, DisplayPort has traditionally led the way here. DisplayPort 1.4 offers more bandwidth than HDMI 2.0, and DisplayPort 2.1 is significantly ahead of HDMI 2.1. This makes DisplayPort the better choice for extreme gaming monitors, high refresh displays, and multi-monitor rigs. Then there's refresh rate. If you're a competitive gamer using a 144 Hz, 240 Hz, or even 360 Hz monitor, DisplayPort is usually the preferred option because manufacturers tend to support higher refresh rates through DisplayPort rather than HDMI. In fact, many high-end monitors only support their maximum refresh rate on DisplayPort. HDMI, however, is catching up especially with HDMI 2.1, but DisplayPort still maintains the lead in most performance-oriented setups. Audio is another point of comparison, though the truth is that both HDMI and DisplayPort can carry high-quality digital audio. However, HDMI is more integrated into home theater systems, sound bars, and AV receivers, making it the easier choice if you're routing your signal through multiple audio devices. HDMI also has ARC and EEARC, which allow audio to travel back from the TV to a sound system, a feature display port doesn't focus on. And then there's the physical connector itself. Display port has a locking mechanism on many cables, which prevents accidental unplugging, a useful feature on desktops where the cable might be under tension. HDMI doesn't lock and can slip out more easily, though it's rarely a major issue for most people. So which one should you use? If you're connecting a PC to a high refresh rate gaming monitor, DisplayPort is almost always the better choice. You'll get higher bandwidth, support for your monitor's full capabilities, and better performance in demanding gaming scenarios. If you're using multiple monitors for work, DisplayPort is also ideal due to daisy chaining and better support for multi-display layouts. But if you're connecting a device to a TV, whether it's a laptop, a console like the PlayStation or Xbox, or a streaming box, HDMI is the right port, hands down. TVs are designed around HDMI, and you'll have broader support for HDR formats, audio systems, and smart TV features. If you're on a laptop, many modern ones now use USB-C, and USB-C can actually carry DisplayPort signals internally. So a USB-C to DisplayPort cable often gives the best results for high refresh rates. So next time you're setting up your display and wonder which cable to use, just remember, HDMI is for the living room, DisplayPort is for the desktop, and both continue to evolve to meet the demands of our ever sharper, ever faster screens. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.